Hi and happy Feast of St. Joseph. I am Jennifer and this is Kate and St. Joseph is so awesome. We never get tired of learning about him here. So today in honor of his feast day, we're going to be sharing some of our St. Joseph favorites, different things you can read, watch, and listen to all about this great saint. So we're going to start off today with one of our absolute favorite movies about St. Joseph. It is so good and bonus, it is available to watch online for free. So it's called St. Joseph, Our Spiritual Father, and it was produced by the Knights of Columbus. And it's fairly new. It was a 2021 release, we think. Don't remember exactly. 2021-ish. <laughs> yeah, and it's about 50 minutes long. So we've been hearing for a while, this is so good, you gotta watch it, you gotta watch it. So we finally did, and yes, it is so good. Absolutely, just go watch it. It's the perfect thing to do on his feast day. So let's talk about why we think it is so great. For starters, it is full of beautiful St. Joseph art, all different statues and paintings. It is probably worth watching just to see all of that. And all those alternate with some really cool modern graphics, so definitely this one keeps your interest. There are also scenes from the life of the Holy Family in this one portrayed by real actors. So there's a Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, and they are just perfect. They do a fantastic job. It is so inspiring. And you also have a few St. Joseph experts like Mike Aquilina and Father Calloway chiming in with different short commentary. And then also probably our favorite part was the different St. Joseph related stories. We hadn't heard quite a lot of these, but they were all amazing. They were definitely. And then one of my very favorite things in this one is that there is a very short cameo appearance by St. Andre Bisset, who, as you know, was very devoted to St. Joseph. St. Andre died in 1937. So yeah, you know, obviously he could have been in some video, but I had just never seen him live before. And even with this brief glimpse, you can just tell how joyful he was. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, so this one has definitely made it onto our Catholic must-see list. Yeah, well done, Knights of Columbus. And then another St. Joseph movie we love is called The Staircase, which tells the story of the mysterious staircase in the Loretto Chapel in Santa Fe. So it's that age-old question, <laughs> did St. Joseph build that staircase or not? Oh my goodness, this is one of our very favorite Catholic history mysteries. And the Loretto Staircase is definitely on our bucket list. We want to go see that in person. So the movie is a classic, an oldie but a goodie, and it's very family friendly. So again, it would be a perfect movie to watch on the feast day of St. Joseph. So now moving on to one of our favorite St. Joseph talks to listen to. It is this one from Lighthouse Catholic Media, St. Joseph, Patron of the Universal Church by Dr. Mark Mirvo. So we have the CD, uh, but you can find this one on Formed or you can find it on the Lighthouse website. So this one has a really interesting tidbit in it about St. Joseph. It's something St. Joseph said in a private revelation, so it's definitely not gospel, but it is very interesting to think about. So St. Joseph took his role as the protector of the Holy Family very seriously, and he said that the hardest thing about being him, basically, um, was knowing just how much Jesus and Mary would suffer during the Passion, and knowing that he would not be there to help them. Uh, that one gets me every time. Of course he would be devastated knowing that they would go through that without him. So St. Joseph is such a great husband and father. He was, he still is, we can always turn to him for any need. And this talk also has a bonus segment about St. Philomena on it. So if you've never heard the story about how she became a saint, then it's right here and it's amazing. Yes, this is definitely a fun two for one because you get St. Joseph and St. Philomena. We love it. I don't know, we've listened to it probably six or seven times over the past few years. So now moving on to books, because that's what we do best here. Of course, we love our books. And we're starting with this one, Consecration to St. Joseph, of course, by Father Donald Calloway. This one is like the gold standard for books about St. Joseph. It is full of wonderful information, stories, prayers, the litany of St. Joseph. That's a favorite mm -hmm. here. It's also got a lot of beautiful artwork of St. Joseph in the back. This one is one of our favorites. So if you want to learn more about St. Joseph and are wondering where to start, start here. 
So another great book is St. Joseph and His World by Mike Aquilina. This one is short. It's only about 120 pages, so you could easily read it in just a couple of days, but so good. Mm -hmm. So it is looking at the world of St. Joseph, his life and times. And the book does start with a walkthrough of Bible history leading up to the birth of Christ, which seems very random at first. But, but then the author masterfully weaves all those details together and you think, of course, this <laughs> makes perfect sense. So one of my very favorite parts about this book was Mike's commentary on King Herod. I did not know that King Herod thought, he actually thought that, hey, I might be the Messiah. He thought mm -hmm. he might be the Messiah. Mm -hmm. Ignore the fact that King Herod, you were not technically Jewish. Yes, that was a problem. That was mm -hmm. the fly in the ointment. Mm -hmm. King Herod, you are not Jewish <laughs> and the Messiah has to be Jewish. But he solved that problem by killing anyone who pointed that out to him. Nice guy, right? Mm -hmm. This was the world that St. Joseph lived in. Then another really interesting commentary was when the author walked you through the flight into Egypt and what that might have really looked like. So that, that was fascinating. There's just tons and tons of interesting information in this book. Yeah, we were definitely sad when it ended because it was so good. So this is a great one from Mike Aquilina, St. Joseph and His World. So if you're looking for a good historical fiction about the life of St. Joseph, maybe read with your kids, then we recommend this one, Joseph by Serena Ward. This is definitely a vintage Catholic book. It's from the 1950s and we've talked about it before, but we wanted to bring it up again because we just haven't found a historical bio of St. Joseph that we like better. It's got these really cool black and white decorations in it. It's all good. Mm -hmm. And we just love the way that it paints like the picture of the everyday life of the Holy Family in such a beautiful way. So watch out for the ending. Uh, it will get you. Yes, bring your Kleenex box for sure. Okay, so next we have Day by Day with St. Joseph from the Catholic Book Publishing Corporation. We love this whole series of books. They're just the perfect size. You can take them anywhere and they are so beautifully made. So each day has a Bible verse, a short reflection, and a prayer to St. Joseph. And this would be great for, you know, Father's Day or, um, or really any day. Yeah, any honestly. day for anyone. I just loved it. You, know, you go through the whole year praying to St. Joseph, thinking about him. So it's wonderful and budget friendly. Mm -hmm. You can get these for as little as like eight to nine, ten dollars. So definitely a good find. Mm -hmm. And there's also like a companion one about the Blessed Mother. So Mother's Day, Father's Day, we've got you covered. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, then 31 Day Novena to St. Joseph. This is going to be my Catholic monthly devotional for the month of April. I discovered last year that I really enjoy that 30 day devotional format. So in 2023, I'm challenging myself to read a different one each month. So that one would have been good for March, but you did like 30 days with the Irish mystics or something, yes. right? Yeah, yeah, 30 days with the Irish mystics. That one is really good, but that just like said, read me in March, right? So St. Joseph yeah. had to get bumped to April, but it's fine. He's he, good for yeah, all times all of the times. Year. He said he didn't care, it was fine. <laughs> This one is based on the Litany of St. Joseph, which is one of my very favorite prayers. So I can't wait to start it in April, right before Holy Week. Yep, so if you're interested in reading along, we'll have some places you can buy it, links down below. Not sponsored. Yeah. <laughs> they no. never are. Yeah, we're not sponsored by anyone. But just a heads up, don't go to somewhere like Amazon as your go-to place for this one because there the copies are much more expensive, like starting at $20 on up. Whereas you can buy this one new at other places for only $3. So we'll link all that for you. So lastly, we have a St. Joseph cookbook celebrating with St. Joseph altars, which we used last year in our Catholic cooking video for March. So it's got a lot of great recipes and pictures, and it walks you through the whole process of setting up a traditional St. Joseph's Day altar. We had so much fun with this one last year, and then looking at it again for this year, 
That just reminded me that last year we made the traditional St. Joseph Day dessert, which is cream puffs. Mm -hmm. And the recipe we used was so easy and so good. We are definitely doing that again this year. So thank you, St. Joseph, for having those as part of your feast day. Another way that he's awesome. All right, so that is a look at some of our favorite St. Joseph resources. We hope this inspires you to get to know him better. Read, watch, and listen to St. Joseph. St. Joseph, mirror of patience, pray, pray for us. So we hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.